Hello everybody. This is the last week of our six week term. So we're now in week six or final exam week and hopefully you've finished lesson plan 11 and 12 and now ready to move to lesson plan 13 and 14. And as you see when you get to lesson plan 13 there's a section 13a and a section 13b and that's because um, there's choices here. So for this lesson plan you can decide between Gandhi or and I, I can say and as well if you want to get extra credit, but you can also just do one of them. That would be the Dalai Lama. And each one of these lesson plans between 13A and 13B are about three hours long. So I made to make I wanted to make sure that they matched and so that one wasn't like really top heavy and one was really easy. And then um, there would be like a no brain. You'd pick the easy one. They'd just be exactly pretty much the same length in terms of time commitment. Okay, so for the required reading, okay, why did we assign this? First of all, these ethical heroes. Well, what I, let me go back for a second. I'm sorry, you guys. Let me start here and explain that I wanted to have an ethical hero for the East and an ethical hero for the West. So for the East, um, uh, Gandhi. Gandhi's considered, but from, from many people's perspective, an Eastern West ethical hero. Um, he's changed the world politically by liberating India from British control, but he did so through his position of ahimsa or nonviolence. He himself lived in a town that was two miles away from a Jain community. And as you guys um, have a little background on Jainism, the Jains are very strict into nonviolence or ahimsa, and that influenced Gandhi. And then Gandhi actually influenced Martin Luther King because Martin Luther King did his research on Gandhi while in graduate school. So there's an interesting connection between Gandhi then and actually in American politics. And so here we have uh, the required reading on Gandhi, and it would be actually to read his autobiography. Not to read about him, but to read his own words. Now this book here, uh, Gandhi's Experiments with Truth, if you actually had the entire text, it would be about 500 pages. And I'm not assigning 500 pages. What I'm assigning instead, let me see if I open it up real quick. The print is very large on this. It looks small here, but you can enlarge it. Um, Actually, you can enlarge it. So you can see that there's not that much writing per page. The pages are very small in terms of the word count. And it starts here with the table of contents. And it's his story about his birth and whose parents were and where he was born, his childhood, and he was married off very young, and just what was going on in his life. And I asked you to read this text for two hours. Again, it's very quick, one minute per page, and I'm assigning 75 pages, which is, you know, at the most, it's going to take you Oh, I said one, 70 pages, I'm sorry. And at most, it should take you under uh, two hours at the most, but to read no longer than two hours and make that your goal to read one and a half to two hours. And um, I read this book in graduate school and when I was at UC Santa Barbara, and I read the whole thing, and I loved it. It was a fantastic book. Um, so that would be the reading. The film would be a biography film from the Biography Channel on his life. It's 40 minutes long, but I'm assigning 25 minutes. Okay. And I was trying to match the amount of film watching for uh, Lesson Plan 13b. The post question here, and then you have the exam question. So altogether, I estimate um, this particular lesson plan will be about three hours, and it's because it's heavier on the reading there. Okay, and that is Gandhi. And then if you move to the Dalai Lama here. Now, the Dalai Lama is a new lesson plan. I've never um, offered this one. This is brand new. I just put it in this semester. And I just thought, you know, he is somebody alive today. Uh, Gandhi's passed away. He was actually um, killed by a Hindu uh, who thought he was uh, favoring um, Pakistan as it was developing and, and Muslims too much and so a Hindu actually shot him to death. But I don't know where I'm going on that little story, but the Dalai Lama here is alive today. And it's interesting because somebody posted in this particular class, who comes from China, that in China the Dalai Lama is not an ethical hero. He's considered almost even a terrorist, but he's not. He's I mean, I, I, I totally get that from the Chinese perspective, from what's going on in Tibet. But from more of a Western perspective, he's got a lot of interesting insights and really goes on the lecture circuit about ethics and compassion and morality and so forth. So if you look at the required reading here, it's a little confusing, but all of this is from his website. And if you open up, um, there's one, two, three, four different sections to open. And the first one is just, this is his writing. This is all from him. He's called the 14th Dalai Lama, okay? And it's one page, uh, a little more than one page, isn't it? Oh my gosh, one article, I'm sorry. And it's on the topic of compassion, okay? I think I said not one page, but one article. Yes, okay, there you go. Then we have him on the environment. He's got a lot to say about the environment. And here he's got all these different topics on the environment here. 
Okay, going green, clean environment, tree planting, etc. And what do I ask you to do? There's 20 different articles in the environment and to pick five, and these are much shorter. Okay, and then religious harmony, there's one article to read. It goes right to it. Okay, there's no choice there. You just read that one. And then you've got world peace, and then you click there. There we go. I'm sorry, I have to click there. And he's got the very short one pagers there. If you added up all the amount of time to read this material, it again matches the Gandhi reading exactly. It will not take you over two hours. And the film for this is uh, 25 minutes. I tried to match exactly the Gandhi film. Okay. And there's three films on the Dalai Lama on happiness, religious harmony, and then he's being interviewed by Time Magazine. And then you go to your post question. There you go. And then the exam question. And that's the final. Um, I'm sorry. It's not the final question for the term, but that is second to the final. Okay. And um, that will conclude the option for 13B. And then you go to lesson plan 14. It's on Albert Einstein. And Albert Einstein, he has a lot to say about humanity, a lot to say about um, uh, compassion, also a lot to say about uh, anti-war. Now, a lot of people might be confused because he wrote the president at the time and suggested that we build an atomic bomb because he thought Germany had it. And then he regretted that and said he wished he could burn his fingertips for having written such a letter because he was just um, disgusted with what happened with the atomic bomb. So it's kind of interesting. He went, he wrote a manifesto arguing for world peace and anti-war. He wrote it along with Bertrand Russell. This is their manifesto. They got various signatures for it. And so what you have here for the reading, let's start at the top here, um, Albert Einstein, um, you click on that first right here. It's loading, loading, loading. Okay, remembering your humanity. So Albert Einstein's argument there. Einstein on ethics. This is Sam Harris. Very, very short, very, very short little thing on Albert Einstein and his ethics. Okay. And then we have Albert Einstein. He wrote a book, The World as I See It, as I see it which is filled with very quotes, which I only, I think, gave you six of them. It's quote one, quote two, quote three, quote four, quote five, and quote six. And if you wanted to read the entire The World as I See It, I offer it down here for you. And it's filled with hundreds of quotes, but these particular quotes deal with morality. And then this one here is um, his attempt to, uh, you know, argue for peace and anti-war. And then this is the actual, uh, so this is, let me see what this is here. This is explaining the document and his position on war, and this is the actual document where him and Bertrand Russell signed a manifesto declaring peace and anti-war. And so this is your reading for um, this last lesson plan for the semester. The film on it, it's kind of, uh, the first one's just 25 seconds, people say. It's very hard to hear this one, but this is Albert Einstein discussing Mahatma Gandhi. And I just thought, how cool is that? You actually hear one guy talking about the other guy. And then Albert Einstein's own five-minute little speech in his own words about humanity. And this one here is a biography on Albert Einstein. So, um, narrated, I think, by uh, William Hurt, the actor William Hurt. And then we move to the post, okay? And then we move to the exam question, okay? And this will be the last exam question, click out of that, for this semester. And then I want to show you something. Here is the final exam, and a lot of students didn't really catch this on the end of week three for the midterm. If you open up the final exam, they're all there in order, okay? The same exact ones at the end of each lesson plan. I have the directions for you, but the primary uh, preliminary questions are there. And a lot of students, I would say a lot, but about a fifth of the class um, failed to see that they were there on the midterm. And they're very important to um, pay attention to because I do give 20 points for that. It, it requires a little, let me open it up one more time, it requires a little reflection, especially number seven. Okay, a little bit of, um, I have to change that. It says in the last three weeks, I have to change that. So which thinker or which topic has inspired you in the last three weeks, not four weeks, so I have to change that. But there you go is the final exam and then some extra credit, totally optional, and one extra credit would be uh, completing both Gandhi and Dalai Lama, but because those are three-hour assignments, I'm not sure if you'll have time, but I always want to give you the opportunity if you felt like you can squeeze it in and you were enjoying those topics. Okay, and that concludes um, week six, and it actually concludes our course. So hopefully you have your research completed this week. You, um, on um, the end of this week, by Friday noon um, of week six, you send me the link to 
on your website, once again, send me that link because that link tells me that your website's ready to be graded and then I don't have to go through my files and find your link. It's just I click, I open, I grade, and then I email you back. Okay, it's been a wonderful semester. I thank you so much for taking this course with me. I do offer an online world religions course designed very similar to this style, so if you liked it, please consider that. Thank you very much, everybody. Bye-bye.